This is Lugardowski of WeAreChange.org, and I'm making this video primarily for my safety, but also to inform you about possible mistakes not to make when you're on the road traveling. Now, today is a very strange day. Together, uh, I'm here with uh, Ben Swan, Angela Keaton, Bob Murphy, Josh Tarley. A lot of Americans have come down here for particular events that are happening here. We're all here. A lot of the people, a lot of the speakers are staying at this hotel room that I'm in right now. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning right now, and I just got done speaking with the police. The reason I just got done speaking with the police is because we left this room at about 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, my computer is actually an hour ahead. So, the, what you're about to see is we all left. No one has access to this room or this hotel. I left my laptop here, which was a big mistake, uploading a video uh, to YouTube. And when I came back, I saw in the history that someone was on here at 3.16 p.m. 3.16, which because of the time difference, it's 4.16 p.m. T time here. 3 p.m., all of us here left. Now, the reason, you know, th this could have been anything, of course, but it gets really weird and really sketchy, primarily because this person, whoever was here in this room, left uh, my computer at 11.26 p.m. Now, we're an hour away. We're far away from this hotel room. At 11.26 p.m. on my computer, which is really 12.26 p.m. here, uh, this person left, my, my, left the computer and stopped all activity. We got back into this room at 12.30. Four minutes. Four minutes before all of us entered this room, entered this hotel, there was someone on my computer. There's no signs of breaking and entering. Nothing else was stolen. And some people are saying this could have been a remote access hack, which I think is extremely unlikely because I run a dual operating system on this computer. I barely use Windows 8. I did it this time because I was lazy and I just wanted to upload a video really quickly. We had to leave and run out of here. And I did that. It was a big mistake. Usually I run... Uh, Linux, and that's where I do all of my work. I don't do any work on Windows 8. I barely use it. There's no possible way that I could have clicked on anything or someone could have sent me anything that could have accessed uh, remotely and b been able to do this. Uh, I just got done speaking with the police. We got more paperwork to file. I don't know what this is. I don't want to speculate. We do piss off a lot of powerful people. A lot of these powerful people do vacation in Chile. Uh, like David Rockefeller, Lord Jacob Rothschild. And again, I don't want to speculate because this could either be, this could be a number of things. This could be someone trying to set me up with something since they did go on um, porn websites. Uh, first, they actually tried to go into my QuickBooks, but luckily it was just a program and I'm not using QuickBooks right now. And uh, if you see, if I go on the main screen, you can see the main QuickBooks thing still on right there. Uh, but and then they looked up passcodes and passwords and how to hack into different things. They looked up into starting credit cards. They looked into some weird porn and they uploaded and downloaded a lot of things. So I don't know what may come of this. This could be a way of either setting me up like was attempted in Europe a few weeks ago. Or this could be a way of just freaking me out. Showing me how much access and power these people actually have. Or this could have been some random hacker that tried to steal my account information which I don't think is possible primarily because remote access under Windows 8 under this operating system that I haven't done anything with is virtually impossible. Uh, and if it was someone who would break and enter and was on my computer physically, which everything, all the signs show yes, why wouldn't he steal anything else from this room? Why would he just go on my computer? There was other computers in the room. Bob Murphy had his computer right next to mine. Nothing happened to his, at least he doesn't know of, because people could also hide their tracks. But for some reason, someone was on my computer as I was away. They were looking up a bunch of things, uploading and downloading a bunch of things. I have a lot more uh, work to do with the police departments here. But just as a lesson learned, I always strive to do the best videos and to upload them as soon as possible, and I make stupid mistakes like this. I opened up Windows 8 because I didn't want to reboot different things. I always start a new operating system whenever I open uh, Linux a new operate, you know, with the new operating system. I made a big mistake. I just went to Windows 8, left the computer on, and left a video uploading. And now I come back, and it looks like someone was here 
in the hotel room that everyone else is staying in. I'm not making any of this stuff up. You can talk to Ben Swan, Bob Murphy, Josh Tolley, uh, Tatiana Moroz, uh, Angela Keaton. Uh, this is very real. I don't know what to make of it. I know that my reaction in these things is the most important thing, so I won't let it freak me out. But learn from my lesson. Don't be careless and stupid with your computers. Almost virtually anything could be done with computers right now. I am traveling the country. I will be back in the States in a few weeks. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just putting it out there as a way to make myself safe and to also warn people uh, that this could happen to anyone. And I don't know what it is. Anything's possible. I don't want to speculate. I'm not going to let this affect me. I still got a lot of work to do. Uh, but just expect, if anything's hacked on my social media accounts, you know what happened, um, which shouldn't have happened, which should not happen at all. But you never know. When, when someone has access to your computer, they have access to virtually everything, no matter how much you try to hide things, no matter how much you try to do different things. So just keep that in mind. I don't know what else to think of this situation. I'll keep you updated on uh, twitter.com forward slash Luke we are change if anything happens you may not see a bunch of videos from me soon because I'm gonna have to have my computers with me at all times I'm gonna have the police investigate it tomorrow uh, just keeping you updated uh, because I don't know this is an extremely weird situation I feel extremely violated um, I don't know what happened but I'll keep you updated